Hello, this is a quick video to show some of the new features and improvements in the latest update of Emon CMS. Most of the work re revolves around the feeds page here. The first change is to the CSV export tool. There was a bug with the older version when trying to export time zone aligned data that's now been fixed. There is now a lot more consistency around the way data is requested in Emon CMS with the same code used for the CSV export API as is used for the main JSON API. This also allows us to return averages when we request longer time intervals and select from a range of different time formats here. Averages are also returned now for PHP time series feeds, which was not supported before. The next feature we have is the ability to create any enabled feed engine from the feeds page itself. This can be great for testing, importing data, or directly writing to feeds without using the Emon CMS input stage. Just click on new feed here. The default engine is a virtual feed, but you can also select the Emon CMS fixed interval time series engine called PHP Finer, the variable interval time series engine called PHP time series, or MySQL time series if you have it enabled. Alternatively, you can create a new feed using the new CSV input tool. To show how this works, I will first pull out some CSV data from an existing feed. I'll load up uh, this house power feed here. I'll select uh, the last 24 hours, I'll uh, 60 second data, and open the CSV output window. If we just hide the headers and remove any null values, just copy the result, then um, then we just paste that into the import data uh, window here. So it automatically um, works out what the interval is and we just need to give it a name. And that's it, it's pretty quick. Um, we just open the this imported data, we can see it looks like it's been re reproduced, and yep, that's pretty faithfully reproduced. It's also possible to use the import tool to update existing data in a feed. This provides quite a powerful way of editing data. You can copy data from one feed and then import it into another, or copy the data to a spreadsheet and then import the corrected data back into the feed. <coughs> The next feature in this update is a new tool for documenting the feed API. Click on API helper uh, at the top to bring this up. The page opens showing the API endpoint used for requesting data, but you can select from a wider range of endpoints here. You can now select the feed that you want to request data from with a drop down. Timestamps no longer have to be in milliseconds. They can be in seconds or even date time strings or actually any time string supported by the PHP date time functions. As an example, let's request hourly averages for the last 24 hours. So in the end field, you can actually put in now for um, the present moment. And in the start field, we can put minus one day. Um, in interval, we can put 3,600 seconds, enable averaging and let's give it a human readable time stamp. So there we go, that's the result. The tool gives a URL you can then copy and use elsewhere here. This update also includes an update to virtual feeds, making them faster and also allowing them to make full use of features such as averaging provided by the underlying feed engines. Here's an example calculating the COP uh, of a heat pump from a heat output and an electric input feed. You can see the result uh, with or with or without averaging. So I'll just set that to 60 seconds, reload it. Uh, and you can also you know pan around and it's it's pretty quick. There's also a whole lot of work on the Emon CMS visualizations to support showing things like kilowatt hours in the current day in a more consistent way. There's also 
wider support for averaging and delta mode in the different visualizations. Last but not least, thanks to Chaveiro for his work improving the menu system uh, and admin interface. You'll notice some improved animations when navigating through the menu system. And then on the admin page, uh, some more information such as uh, CPU information and uh, more information on disk, uh, disk use. Hope that quick overview gives you a good idea of the new features. I've I posted a more detailed list of changes in the forum post and on the Emon CMS GitHub. Please po post on the forums or on GitHub if you notice any related issues with these changes. And it would be great to hear if you find these useful as well. Thanks for watching.